Welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 my friends. We are about to meet our maker Sephiroth. First we need to pass through this uh, little whirlwind. It's a, it's a bit annoying. Uh, you gotta move when there are thunder, th the lightning isn't striking and the wind is calm. It can be a little bit tricky. Um, I was actually considering the possibility of colliding against it so that I could uh, try and learn white wind from the monster that we face whenever we collide it, but I remembered that we can't actually learn white wind from this monster, uh, even though he uses it. And now apparently we're going to take a little trip to the past. Uh, apparently Sephiroth is making us the illusions or something. He's got quite the, the range of powers, doesn't he? No, we're all just stoned. But I don't approve of drugs, so, so don't, don't do that. Uh, apparently Cloud believes it's, it's an illusion. And it is an illusion, but... We are about to discover something very peculiar. Cloud used to have black hair and he apparently he had a little haircut. Or did he? We are about to find out that Cloud's story about the events that took place in Nibelheim isn't that accurate. If you say so. That's right. So that part was true. Sephiroth did cause a lot of death in Nibelheim. Yep, it's not you. The person coming out is a very beloved character in the Final Fantasy universe. Uh, arguably one of the most popular male characters of all time, Zack. Even though at this point, well, we didn't know much about him. Other than that Cloud thought he was Zack and that he, for some reason, uh, was convinced that the memories, or he got his memories mixed up with Zack's memories. It's quite tragic what happens to Zack later on, but... I never had the opportunity to... Uh, play Crisis Core uh, just never got the game um, nor did I have the system to play it but for the cutscenes alone I think it's worth it <laughs> So you say. That's not nice. That's not entirely true, though. Some of the events that Cloud... Uh, told about are accurate. I'd say it's about like 50-50. He just thinks he was someone else but all the events did really happen like he described. A 
failed the experiment. Hmm. Uh, that's not true either. I mean, cloud is cloud, is just, well, a bit different. A little bit too late for that, plus he can't. It's hard to cover your ears when you have squares for hands. It's pretty cool that Sephiroth has all those powers though. I actually feel bad for Cloud during this scene. He, poor guy, he doesn't know what to believe anymore. Uh, have you noticed how the dude that's laying there is like twitching his eyes? <laughs> is he still alive? I guess he is. It's like, hey guys, I know it's an illusion, but you could try and assist the man. I mean, he is dying. <laughs> You need some time, what about the poor guy who's having like a, an identity crisis? It's like he's a teenager all over again. Yes, but he is that cloud. This cloud is that cloud. Now that I think about it, uh, if you don't do a little bit of research, you know, for the Final Fantasy VII plot, it can be a little bit confusing. Uh oh. The picture. Well, the Twitchy over there has it. Poor guy. Yeah, that's right. That's it. What? Well, that doesn't prove anything. It could have been photoshopped, really. I mean, in 1997, this might have been impressive, but it's 2014. That could have been photoshopped. Even an amateur could do that. Plus, the picture is so pixelated. So I wouldn't be impressed by that, honestly. If that's all that Sephiroth has with his illusions and whatever, I am not impressed. Ah, uh, that's a good question. Well, the truth is that he never was in Soldier, that's for sure. Antifa's just <laughs> turning his back on him, the poor guy is like, 
is desperate. Oh goodness. Oh ho! And we are about to meet the real Sephiroth. sure about that oh god Ojo why do you have to be such a buzzkill Jesus Christ as if we need more reasons to hate you oh oh my god it's a weapon. Oh god. I wonder which weapon it is. It's not diamond weapon. Ultimate weapon? No. Is it sapphire weapon? I think it's sapphire weapon. <sighs> anyway, we're going to have to fight these weapons later on. They're the uh, super bosses of the game. Well, you know what? Technically, there are only two super bosses. Not all weapons are super bosses. Sapphire we never get to face, uh, Diamond is a joke, Ultimate, well it has Shadow Flare and that's annoying, but the two super bosses in the game are in fact Emerald and Ruby weapon, personally I think Ruby is harder than Emerald, I got a score to settle with those two, but we will take them since this is supposed to be a complete walkthrough, and what's going on here? No, Barrett, don't follow the buzzards. Oh. Tifa, really? Hmm. Yeah, that's a little bit suspicious, no? Oh, Barrett, don't be so gullible. Oh. Well, I didn't know that Sephiroth liked to cross-dress as well. Uh, not surprised by it, honestly. But... It's interesting that he decided to... <laughs> You know, he could have put like he could have put like some fur on top of it and claimed to be garlic, you know, red. Uh, but no, instead he decided to be the girl with the big breasts. Well, he's a mammoth boy. That's a good question. I'm surprised we can just kind of like materialize and appear here for some reason. Apparently Cloud is already brainwashed. Why would Barrett give Cloud the black material? He's acting like a moron. Oh, come on. Would you really trust someone who was like, mm, let me hug myself as I get closer to you and want my black material? Oh, goodness. But, unfortunately, we can't do anything to stop Cloud. Wow. 
why are you apologizing to Rufus? He didn't do anything. You are the real cloud, dude. Just snap out of it. Jesus Christ. Is it really so easy to brainwash you? Garlic has a 13 tattoo. Oh, come on, Cloud, that's just sad. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. As if there's another reason to wait, Toju, even more. <sighs> but yeah, as you figure out. Sephiroth was being drawn to Sephiroth, uh, Cloud was being drawn to Sephiroth and he thought he was seeking revenge on him but apparently no, that was not the case, he wanted, he was being summoned by him and now he's going to give him the black materia and all hell's going to break loose. And Cloud is apparently using float or something because he's like stuck on the roof like Spider-Man. And now we're actually going to meet the real Sephiroth. We are about to witness a pretty cool cutscene, actually a pretty cool series of cutscenes. Um, which is not bad. Actually, it's one of my favorite parts of the game. The only thing I'm not looking for from this point on is to do this stupid chocobo side quest. I don't want to. But I'll do it. That's right. Cloud fight, fight against it, damn it. But yes, we're going to meet the real Sephiroth. He's been in here all along. The other ones were just Genova clones. There he is. That's spooky. Shut up, old Joe. Why aren't we like assassinating Ojo right now? And why is he flopping his, ar his arms like a retard? It's too late. Oh boy. 
vorbei. Really? <laughs> Here they go. The weapons. Toughest opponents in this game. We'll have to deal with them sooner or later. Even though we're not prepared right now. But we will be. Don't stop believing as they say. It is an actually a pretty cool cutscene, but my favorite cutscene in the game will happen next <sighs> during the Junon escape segment. That's my favorite. Ah, poor Cloud, he's a lost soul for sure. I really feel bad for him. Too late. And now we've lost control. We lose. Uh, we lose control over over Cloud for a little bit. Um, which is actually kind of nice because we can't really choose if we can have him in the party, if we can take him out of the party or not. It's a mandatory character in our team. So Tifa is going to be in charge for a little bit. But like I said, I am excited for the next part of the game. If you took out the Chocobo uh, side quest to obtain the certain types of materia, I would be even more excited. But that's not the case. I might do the Shokobo uh, side quest before I even get Cloud. We'll see. Uh, so this is what really happened with between Cloud and Tifa. Tifa just found Cloud uh, by the train station in Sector 7 um, and he was completely messed up. But apparently as soon as he saw Tifa something triggered in his brain Maybe old memories combined with his current memories and that's what created this cloud that we see before us. And Tifa, uh, for some reason, just went along with it. I, I really don't know why. Um, had she said something at the time, I, I suppose it could have prevented some of the things that happened. Uh, later on, I don't know, they could have locked Cloud in a room and prevent him from going after Sephiroth, I don't know. Uh, but obviously then we wouldn't have the story that we had. Uh, and that's how it is. But that's it. Are you going to wake up or not, Tifa? Jesus Christ, we're all waiting for you. Uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. The 
ding. Come on, Tifa, wake up. They could take away the bright white light, it's it's not very good for the eyes. No one that it just disappeared. Kind of surprised he even survived considering uh, an, a mountain came falling over him. I'm sure he is. Seven days! Jesus Christ! This girl needs a shower. I wouldn't touch her with gloves. Jesus Christ! Seven days? Unless someone's been giving her a sponge bath or something. Ugh. I'm sure someone in the Final Fantasy 7 community has thought about that before, oh well. Everyone has their tastes, I ain't judging. But Jesus Christ, 7 days she really needs a shower and it doesn't seem like she changed clothes either. Then again there's only like what, one bathroom in the entire Final Fantasy? Nah, maybe not. In Final Fantasy 7 there are more bathrooms, it's in Final Fantasy 8 where there's only like one bathroom. There's a bathroom in every city. In Final Fantasy 7. But that's not really important right now, I guess. Even though that is something that I always question about is like, why aren't there more toilets in Final Fantasy 7? Don't they ever need to go? They probably poop squares since they are all in square shape, but we'll see. Ah, what a pretty sunset. Wait a minute. That's not the sunset. That's... Meteor. Yep, that's Meteor. It's going to come down on Earth and destroy it. Uh, it's not a good thing. But, well... No, he did not. But we need to find a way to stop Meteor, otherwise, well, the Earth will be destroyed. What is it? Oh, not this guy. Oh, come on, well, we did give him the black material, Cloud did, well, he's just being a typical politician, Barrett, someone else is always to blame. Oh yeah, who, who and whose army? Oh, well, apparently he really was can't believe it only took that clown, we Edgar or whatever his name is. Come on, Barrett, Bar punch him. Uh, I can't. For some reason we're allowed to keep our materia though. Not very good prisoners. Not very good, you know, uh, detainees, if I, if I may say so myself. I mean, they allow us to keep our materia. There's really nothing in stopping us from running away. But... That's how it is. Uh, let me just change my junctions here a little bit. There are uh, yeah, most enemies here deal status ailments, so ribbon the ribbon is going to be useful. 
and uh, isn't there, there it is uh, so i'm going to stop this episode right here guys thank you so much for watching on the next episode we're heading we're going to try and find a way out of junan so once again thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and take care my friends